Now, have you been to Vegas and seen a street hustle with a three card monty? Funnily enough, it only involves three cards. But of course includes the uh, Joker, the Joker, and the Queen. Follow the Queen, you win the money. So we'll put a Joker on the top. I'm not lying to you, you can see there's a Joker on the bottom. Now would you say the Queen is on the top, or would you say she's in the middle? That's right, if you put money on it, you would have said it been right. She is in fact in the middle, showing that the Joker is in fact on top. You said the Queen was in the middle, correct? No, so you're not paying attention, that's where the Joker has now jumped to the middle, and the Queen has now jumped to the bottom. But because I like you, I want you to win. So what I would do is I'd make all the cards actually queens. But if I didn't like you and I didn't want you to win, I'd make all the cards actually jokers. But here's the fact. If I was actually have the joker, what should be next? That's right, the queen. Then, obviously, no, 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 no. See, you're not paying attention. That's where the king is next. You weren't paying attention at all. G'day elites, welcome back to Murphy's Magic Saturday Sorcery. How are you? My name is Bo Creamer. I hope you're having an incredible Saturday so far and you're ready to learn an awesome free effect. Now this might come as a surprise to you, but after all the gimmicks that I've been building, I had some people come to me and ask to teach a very beginner magic trick, particularly involving cards. Now many of you keen-eyed viewers might have noticed this is a classic in magic called the Color Monty, a variation on the three card Monty created by Jim Temple. This was of course published by Emerson and West in 1974 and also featured in Genie Magazine in the same year. Since then there have been many variations of the Color Monty across the years. Now this might seem surprising but this is still in my working repertoire. The effect is super easy to do and it gets great reactions from the spectators plus what's more this can be done from a borrowed deck. Now, like I mentioned, since there are so many different variations out there, I wanted to take it back and pay homage to Jim Temple. I'll have links to the other variations in the description below if you want to check those out. There's some absolute pearlers. A lot of them do different handlings and actually have different gimmicks involved. Now, I loved Jim's original routine where at the end it'd have you owe me $14. So this is my version that I created when I actually borrowed a deck off someone and wanted to jump straight into it. Let's jump downstairs and learn how it's done. Now, have you been to Vegas and seen a street hustle with a three card Monty? Funnily enough, it only involves three cards. But of course includes the uh, Joker, the Joker, and the Queen. Follow the Queen, you win the money. So we'll put a Joker on the top. I'm not lying to you, you can see there's a Joker on the bottom. Now, would you say the Queen is on the top, or would you say she's in the middle? That's right, if you put money on it, you would have said been right. She is in fact in the middle, showing that the Joker is in fact on top. You said the Queen was in the middle, correct? No, so you're not paying attention, that's where the Joker has now jumped to the middle and the Queen has now jumped to the bottom. But because I like you, I want you to win. So what I would do is I'd make all the cards actually Queens. But if I didn't like you and I didn't want you to win, I'd make all the cards actually Jokers. But here's the fact. If I was actually have the Joker, what should be next? That's right, the Queen. Then, obviously, no, 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 no. See, you're not paying attention. That's where the King is next. You weren't paying attention at all. Now to perform this, you're only gonna need three cards. You're going to need a king, a joker, and a queen. Now this is also your setup. The queen is on the bottom, the joker is in the middle, and your king is on top. Now what you're going to do is when you display the cards, you're gonna push all three out to show you that there are only just three cards. And as you bring them back, you're going to push over a double. So you're pushing over these two cards as a double to show a joker. Really, you're pushing over the king and the joker. So you push over the double, show the joker, and then just push off the top card and drop it to the side. So you're dropping over the king. And then in the same motion as you did just before, you're going to push over the joker, just one card, and show that and drop it down. You're then going to display the queen. Drop it down and say, follow the queen, win the money. You're going to turn that queen back over and take the king from the bottom and place it on top. So you're gonna show the bottom card so in the premise of you saying, we're gonna take one of the jokers, put it on the top. You then show the joker on the bottom and say, now would you say the queen is on the bottom, top or middle? And of course they would say the middle because they just saw you put a joker on the top. You turn over and you show the queen is there. So that's correct. If you'd have put some money down, you would have won. The joker is also on the top, leaving the queen in the middle. If you said the queen was in the middle. No, the joker's in the middle. Now this is done by showing that joker on the bottom. And as you go to push up, you push all of these two cards up, so the queen and the king, push them all up. So you see the bottom, top, and you push just down the top card to be aligned with the bottom card. So they sit flush, showing the middle card. And you tap that and say, is that the queen? You then turn over and show. So they get the idea of the queen and the joker there. 
then come back and grip both the king and the joker and turn over as one showing that the joker is on top this now puts the joker in the middle position pushing the queen to the bottom so this is now your hand you show that the joker is in fact in the middle but you like them and you want them to win so you repeat the same motion you show the queen is on the bottom push top turn over show that the queen is on top and then show that the queen is in fact in the middle now in the second to last phase you want to show if you don't like them you don't want them to win they are all jokers so you remember your jokers now on the bottom so you show the joker take the top card show the bottom card take the top card show the bottom card and put on top again so you're just reversing the order joker top card joker top card and joker now in the last phase all you're going to do is turn the cards over you say i've got the joker what should be next yes that's right the queen then what's next and of course they'll say the joker because they expect the joker to be there as i've seen two jokers all along you say no the king you weren't paying attention this part of the program is brought to you by sucker punch they're just like poker chips but way cooler now it's time for the mid-episode giveaway. But before we jump into what today's giveaway is, we need to give away the prize for last week. This, of course, was the two specially made slider gimmicks for making a name disappear. Now I randomly went through the comments and chose someone out at random, and congratulations, Jen the Magician, you won those two gimmicks sent straight to your house. Jen, if you could email me just here, I'll get those prizes straight out to you quicker than you can eat a barrel of sand. Bon appetit. Now into today's giveaway. Now, since there are no gimmicks to actually give away, we're actually giving away a plethora of card effects known as the Cardition Bundle. Now, if you want your chance to win the Cardition Bundle, all you need to do is comment below what you would place as your bet. It could be $5, it could be a Tic Tac, it could be a fridge magnet of a cute little chicken sitting on a barrel of hay. Whatever it is, put it in the comments below and I'll choose someone out at random next week to win that Cardition Bundle. Good luck. Now, what do you think of that? Did you enjoy that? Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this video. And if you really liked it, please hit that like button because it is smash like September and I really appreciate it. Now I'll let you get back to your Saturday champion. Thanks again for joining and hanging out. If you're actually by right now, come by our Discord. We're actually jamming, hanging out and playing a trivia game. I'd love to see your pretty, pretty face. But if not, that's totally fine. You enjoy your Saturday doing whatever you're doing. And if you're watching this in the future, how good is the future? It's pretty, it's pretty rad, right? Like robots and flying cars, insane. But nonetheless, enjoy your day and I'll catch you very soon on Wednesday for a watch new this week or again next Saturday for another Saturday Sorceries. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye for now. See you later. Whoa, look at this. Whoa. So much good magic in there. You, you need to check this out. You're not going to regret it. I, I, I pinky promise you. Oh, whoa. Look at this. This shining diamond over here. What is this? Beautiful. You probably should click that if you haven't subscribed yet. But then you should definitely check out this because this, this is good. Treat yourself.